The planning to execution the event was organized entirely by Gwangju citizens. As the Citizens' Day is acknowledged to raise awareness about the factors and issues that affect people's life, it was also a day to celebrate the seventh anniversary of the Gwangju Charter on Human and People's Rights. The main objective of bringing about Gwangju Declaration was to identify the gaps and challenges in addressing human rights violations and to suggest effective measures to resolve the problems. Lee Yong Sup, the mayor of Gwangju City, said in his opening remarks, Today is a meaningful day for the noble dedication of citizens. The city of Gwangju, based on its historical experience and identity, are creating greater hope and happiness for the future. At the venue, three members of the Gwangju Citizens Association read out the historical Gwangju Human Rights Charter, having a 518-word preamble and a body comprising 18 articles in five chapters. Later on, various human rights and citizenship-related activity took place, such as making rice bowl to meditate on the spirit of the May 18 Gwangju Uprising. On the 21st May 2012, the 47th Gwangju Citizens Day, 21 representative citizens, including the Gwangju mayor, came together to make a solemn declaration. The Gwangju Human Rights Charter and Human Rights Index was enacted and developed as such and was thus declared to the world, including Gwangju citizens past, present and future, the Korean Peninsula and the whole of Asia. Jung Min Kim, GFN News. The city of Gwangju and local universities have pledged to cooperate on nurturing advanced manpower needed at the car manufacturing lines that are planned to be constructed in the big green industrial complex as part of the Gwangju type job project. Gwangju Mayor Yi yong -sub and the presidents of the nine local universities, including Gwangju University, Jeonnam National University, Joseon University, and Honam University, signed a Memorandum of Understanding on Mutual Development for the successful promotion of the city's job creation project. Under the agreement, Gwangju and local universities will form and operate a Human Resources Training Council to prepare measures for building human resources development infrastructure related to the automobile industry in order to create quality jobs for local students. They also agreed to make more effort to establish bilateral cooperative relations for the joint development of various projects aimed at revitalizing the local economy. Mayor Yi emphasized the necessity of local universities to actively engage in education and training in fostering quality human resources, as they are another key to ensuring the sustainability of the Gwangju-type job project. Hyung Jun Ro, GFN News.